I'm currently about to board a speed train from Brussels to Paris. But first, let's rewind a bit before we head to Paris. Tanner's parents flew into Europe and we've loved having them with us. Since they've arrived, we visited Austria, Germany, and Belgium. Where in our latest video, we fell in love with Bruges streets, bridges, canals, and food. Belgium truly has been incredible. <laughs> Well, flash forward a few days, we've made it to the North Sea here in Ostenda, and we have to say the water is warmer than we expected oh, yeah. than compared to when it was in Cuxhaven. Of course, that was a very blustery day, and today is 90 degrees and just beautiful, honestly. We're enjoying just a relaxing Sunday afternoon here with my parents. Honestly, I, I see why so many people come here. We had to go several kilometers down the road to find an open beach because everywhere else was just packed with parking. High tide's about to come in, so we're keeping an eye on these waves, and I think we're about needing to move right now. Well, yeah, that was like in the nick of time, getting everything packed up before the water came in. But our time here in Belgium is ending. It's been a blast, we've really enjoyed it. Our next adventure is tomorrow. We're leaving on a speed train to... Paris! So this journey is going to be about two hours. We could drive there in three, but we opted to take the train, see what the hype's all about, and just relax and enjoy. If you know much about Willa, you know that she is our little transportation baby, and she's so excited. So we can't wait to experience this. We're going to take you along our journey today as we experience Paris for the first time. We've yet to be there. This is actually going to be our first time in France. So we are so excited. Let's see what this train is like. Let's go. Pressing a button. I do not know what that is for. This for my light. Oh, you're right. Starting out, we're here in the water closet. This is honestly one of the most important things about traveling is to see what is this space like. And honestly, getting in here, it's a little smelly. Not too bad though, not too bad. Fairly clean, which is nice and a little spacious. I can like swing my arms around in here. You can see the reflection behind me. There is a light in front of me. You could come put your makeup on if you're running behind, so that's nice. Okay, so I flushed the toilet and this like blue soap stuff came up and it smells really nice and clean. That's nice, has a little bit of a nice clean smell to offset any stench that's left here in the bathroom. This is the hand dryer. This bathroom is hot and now I found out why. That heater is hot. During the winter months, oh that would feel so good, but right now it is summer and it's a little hot. They also have a hand towel if you prefer that as well. The train ride? Train ride. Is only? Only. Like an hour? An hour. And? And? A half. A half. Not two hours. Not two hours. So it's gonna be fast. It's gonna be fast. What do you have? Banana. Round trip we paid 56 euros per adult. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the bee, the bee, the bee, the bee. Really, that's cool air, so that's really nice on a hot day. Nice, fresh air. Kind of like a little easy.
we've made it now to the metro station here in Paris and it's busy. It is a busy time of the year. The train getting to here from Brussels was very nice. Relaxing not having to drive and I was actually able to fall asleep for a few minutes and it was quite smooth compared to some of the other trains that we've been on. Even in Germany I thought it was really smooth and probably the best part of the train was non-stop from Brussels to Paris. If you've been on mass transit before there are so many stops and that adds a lot of time. So we covered a good amount of distance in a short amount of time. Now we're at the metro station about to buy some tickets to go to the Eiffel Tower and taste our way through some fun experiences today. Paris. We're in Paris! Woo. I would love to say that it smelled amazing down there, but it absolutely <laughs> was terrible. <laughs> but anyway, we are here now. We're about to walk and find some food because I'm starving already and I can only imagine everyone else is probably hungry. So We have our eye on getting some French onion soup, mm -hmm. some of those grilled cheese looking sandwiches. What is it? Cro a, a croquet. Croquet, madame. And and monsieur. Yeah. Who knows what else we'll find. On the top you can see it has melted cheese. Looks like it was a shredded cheese that's been melted on top. And then let's see. There's like a bread that's been soaked on the top. So I'm gonna try and cut a piece of that off. Underneath <laughs> it's very brothy and then you've got slices of the onion. I've been warned from my mother-in-law it's really hot. So we're gonna blow on it. Mm. That bite with the cheese on it and the bread. It's like a grilled cheese soup right there. So good. I love the onion in there. I'm just going to get just the broth now at this point. Just blowing on it, I can see there's like droplets of the oil in there. So it's fun to see. It's definitely oily. Mm. It's really nice. Light. Honestly, that with the broth, it's just fairly light, but really warm. Very savory. So this one is the one we're probably most excited about. This is the Croquet Madame. The difference between this one and the Monsieur is that this one has an egg on top. This is a piece of bread with ham and cheese on top and, and bechamel sauce. Friendly okay. mm, The toast is fairly thin, crunchy on the bottom, a nice layer of butter it feels like, and then that slice of ham, the bechamel sauce, the cheese and the egg, just like really good savory. This is Tanner's kind of meal. Mm, yeah. Well, then let's go see the Eiffel Tower. Woohoo! <laughs> Anticlimactic is all good up. But yes, the thing we're most excited about here in Paris is to see the Eiffel Tower and yes, the most touristy thing probably to do. But that is going to be where we're headed now. Sites. Time seeing it. Woo. Well, now we can go home. No, <laughs> We're not ready to go home yet, but this is for sure a bucket list item yeah. for most people, I feel like. We're really not huge city people, but I mean, you gotta come to the Eiffel Tower once, so. Yeah. Um. Oh, wow. <laughs> My dad just got asked to hold someone's camera and he proposed. I was like spitting Willa and turned around and I'm like, oh, oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> Before arriving in Paris, we debated if we were going to go up to the top or not. We decided we were going to spend our time since we have such limited time in other places. And honestly, seeing this line, we would have, I'm sure, been waiting in it for a long time. That line was so, so long to get up there. We decided that at the Eiffel Tower we were going to hop on a boat cruise because we really enjoy doing that through Bruges. There's a lot of walking that you could do here or public transportation in Paris, so we've opted in getting the hop on, hop off boat tour. This is the first one that we've done like this, but we're excited because it stops at a lot of those major places that we want to see today. We're 
here at the Notre Dame Cathedral and there's quite a display here, a little comic that you can read about the destruction of the fire in 2019 and all of the progress they've made up until that time. We distinctly remember when this happened and the millions of dollars that poured into support. It's really cool to see all of the works coming together to restore the cathedral here. What I didn't realize is that the ground broke for Notre Dame in the 1100s and it took almost 200 years to complete, which is an incredible long time for construction to think about how many generations worked from start to finish to get this done and how many people are working now to just finish in a few years. The cathedral is set to reopen for worship services and for visitors in 2024, but on the outside, the part that was preserved, the gargoyles and the statues and just the entire design of the cathedral are breathtaking. A really fun stop that we've made and interesting to see some of the history. Honestly, when I was reading through the comic, because my background is in industrial safety, I decided to look in to see if they had any asbestos concerns or lead concerns and they definitely had areas that they had to look for lead paint. I didn't see anything with asbestos but just like my career and background I'm always like interested because a lot of the building materials from back in the day were harmful like asbestos and lead. Kind of a little fun side note to be looking at that and to see how much work over centuries has gone into this place. to decide. It tastes like chocolate? So I'm pretty sure this is a raspberry one here. You can see the seeds right. in it, so I'm, right. I'm positive raspberry. Mm. Really good, that jelly layer inside is definitely where the raspberry flavor comes through. It's a fun texture, nice crunch on the outside, but then really soft bite. Not overly sweet, not overly tart. Do you wanna try it? Can I try a bite of your chocolate one? Hers is really good. <laughs> Hers has a nice layer of fudge in the middle. Maybe like a frosting. Out of both of these. That's rich. Oh, really rich. Really good. since we've recorded, but as you saw, Tanner did Willis hair in braids on the boat, and then we went to the Louvre Museum. We actually didn't go down into it, just again for the sake of time, but we found out it was like 15 euros per person, so that was actually cheaper than we expected. After that, we settled in for dinner, thoroughly enjoyed dinner, and we've now made our way to the train station. So we're headed back to Brussels for the night, and we're gonna be ending out this video. It's been a really fun journey here. There's a few random things we were gonna point out. So first off, when and eating out, all of the restaurants we went to provided free tap water. That was really convenient and something that we've not grown accustomed to living in Germany, so it's just really nice to have that and reminded us of home back in the USA. Honestly, a lot of the main attractions are fairly far apart. The hop-on, hop-off boat ended up being a great idea. We were very happy about that. We didn't stop off at all of the places, just the main ones that we wanted, and it ended up being perfect. We would definitely recommend some means of transportation other than just walking if you're here in Paris. The streets are very picturesque, just as I expected. I've seen a lot of pictures of Paris, and it's just beautiful. A very romantic city, I mean called the city of love. It was a really fun time and just so fun taking Willow with us. Her and her Rapunzel dress in the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Gotta love it. You wanna say that you rode on your stroller? I rode on my stroller. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're such a big girl, huh? <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later.